So we talked about the impedance for the three common uh, circuit elements. So let's look at them a little bit more. First, resistor. Quite often we use symbol uh, like this to represent resistor. We said the impedance for resistor would just be R for the resistance. Or if you want, you can write it as R plus J times zero means imaginary part would be zero or if you write, want to write it in exponential uh, term it will be r times exponential of j but the phi the angle would be zero so in this case the modulus the impedance modulus for the resistor would be in independent of frequency. It does not depend on frequency or radio frequency. And it has um, impedance Z has only real component. And the phi, the phase would be zero, which means between the voltage and the current, they are always in the same phase, same angle. They're in phase with each other. Okay, there's no phase shift between the current and the voltage. Next, for capacitor, we said uh, two parallel lines for the parallel plate representing capacitor. Impedance for capacitor would be zero plus J times, as what we showed before, uh, minus one over omega C. Sometimes you may write it simply as 1 over j omega c. Or if you wanted to write it in exponential term, omega c becomes two, 1 over 2 pi f c and then exponential, but then the minus sign would give us the j times minus pi over 2. Minus pi over 2. Okay, what does this mean is the modulus, the modulus for a capacitor impedance would be 1 over 2 pi fc. And it, uh, as you see it, decreases, the modulus would decrease as frequency increases. If f, the frequency increases, or if omega, the radio frequency increases, the modulus for impedance of a capacitor would actually go uh, lower and when frequency goes towards infinity the impedance modulus for the capacitor goes towards zero okay and it has only imaginary component only imaginary no real component and uh, the angle of minus Pi over 2 means the current is shifted by minus half pi or minus 90 degree with respect to the voltage. The minus sign means the current is ahead of or before the voltage. It's ahead of or before the voltage shifted by 90 degree. Okay, and finally, for inductor, for inductor, the impedance for inductor L would be zero for real part plus J omega L, omega L. Omega again would be radio frequency, okay? And if you can omit the real part, it would be just the J omega L. If you wanted to write in exponential term, omega L would be two pi F L, and then the J term would be EXP, of j of half pi, j times half pi. So the modulus or magnitude for impedance in this case would be 2 pi f l, 2 pi f l, and the modulus would increase and frequency increases, which means for an inductor, the in how it impede the um, Electrical flow would be larger and larger if the AC current goes higher, uh, AC frequency goes higher and higher. Similarly to capacitor, the impedance for inductor only has imaginary component, only has imaginary component, J. Okay, and uh, 
the current will be shifted positive 90 degree or half pi positive with respect to the voltage which means the current would be after or behind would be after go later than behind the voltage the response would be uh, 90 degree later or 90 degree after the voltage in terms of the phase shift Okay.